Now the question mark that we're going towards now is by the river, I think. So this might be... Maybe like a drowner monster nest or something. No, not the wolves. Not the wolves. Or... People. Alright. Fallen Knights. Are Fallen Knights the same thing as Renegade... What was it again? Renegade Warriors? Renegade Knights? Maybe. Fallen, like, Fallen from Grace, I assume. Ooh, I gotta be careful here. Everyone's really strong. Oh my god, my favorite shield, guys. Okay, everybody, please. No, not the crossbow. Just trying to get this in. Oh, Northern Wind also creates that effect where you can one-hit the people. It's pretty cool. I think we gotta get rid of the archers. I don't like them very much. Just go over there. <laughs> wow. Great dodging. Wow, even my new sword right now it takes so many hits to kill these guys. Holy frick. Mmm, they keep getting hit from behind. There we go. That's a little better. And maybe Hangman's Venom would be good here too. Dude, they hit hard. Everyone hits really hard here. Even the spiders earlier, holy frick man, they were like, not an afterthought. Whoa, my god, I'm gonna die to this guy. Seriously. Oh. Perfect last hit. But look at that. Even for a simple random bandit camp engagement, I had to use two white reference decoction and a whole bunch of superior swallows too. What the heck? Did I just get really rusty from not playing for a week or? <laughs> Peter's log. That makes three days we've been stationed here in dead white wood. Tis a gravely important mission. That's what the commander told us. We only send the best of the best to dead white wood. Those were his words. I'm damn proud. Strange enough, there ain't many trees around and not a corpse to be seen. Maybe the master's information was out of date and the peasants have felt the whole wood. Thomas says it's because we went the wrong way, but he can't read nor write, so I'm not about to trust him. I'm going to go scout around a bit myself after dinner today. I want to draw a map of these lands because the commander didn't give us one. When I get back to the main headquarters, I'll write up everything all nice and proper. Peter Nahair. It kind of sounds like... Oh, look at that. Order of the Flaming Rose Sword. Kind of sounds like the commander made them come here on purpose to desert them or something. Yeah, like, if they were on a mission, why are they fallen knights? Doesn't sound like they're falling from grace to me. Wow, this is too high level for me. Dang. Okay. We should meditate a little bit, but we should also loot the camp first. Order of the Flaming Rose Armor. That's new. There's only one bed here. Do they all sleep together in the same bed? <laughs> okay, well that's one question mark down, and I'm actually still missing a lot of health here, so... Just gonna use my swallow potions, and we will head towards this place here. Um, I was hoping there would be an inn here, but judging by how there's a question mark, that's starting to seem pretty unlikely, huh? Come on, Roach. Which means, if it's possible, before we go there, maybe we want to meditate again just to get the swallow potion back. We don't really know what it's gonna be like when we get there. 
Hidden treasure. Nothing guarding it? Really? Pastoral diary of Father Gledfried. Journal covered in blood, heavily damaged. Only the last page can be made out. My wanderings for the fire's glory next took me to preach to Brunwich. The village curled round the lake. And lo and behold, what did the most holy flames illuminate for me there? A hive of hardened heathens, too lost in sin to lift a cursed finger to care for the hearth of the eternal fire. Filled with divine wrath, I asked them, Why is your chapel in such a sorry state? Why is your cemetery all covered in weeds? Their response? Ghosts! Curses fallen upon hallowed ground. They blame it on the elderman's wife, say she went mad from riches and... Eh. And ever since that tragedy, chapels lain in ruins, with no one daring to go near. So the task falls on me to guide these foolish lost sheep back on the righteous path and away from the rubbish they believe. I intend to enter the chapel alone, armed only with the torch of the eternal fire to light my path and see just what lurks within. A storm, damn it. Cursed chapel. But he's here. He was gonna go inside, but he died here. I think we should meditate. <laughs> the cursed chapel. Maybe something to do with a wraith? The priest person mentioned a elderman's wife. Come on. Whoa! Oh, that scared me. Holy crap. Are we all good? No, no. Everybody get in the circle! It's freaking whirl on them. <laughs> it's hard. They are kicking my butt here. Oh my gosh. No. It is a cemetery after all, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised that there's a lot of raids here. You would hope that it's only peaceful deaths, but rates probably means that somebody died a wrongful death here. Maybe I'll light a candle for you. The chapel's here. Ooh, cat potion? I keep forgetting I can do cat potion with that. Whoa! Show me what you got. Cursed mother. So it does seem like it's some kind of wraith here. A mother? This might be the elderman's wife. But we didn't know anything about them having kids. So it might not be the same person. Oh, she's healing! Don't heal. <laughs> I keep setting up these circles. But they never go inside. Oh! I'm not really getting her. Yeah, because she's on the edge-ish. And whenever she moves out the area just a teeny little bit, the effectiveness immediately goes down. Oh, come on. Hey, when it's going through me and I get that status effect, what the heck is it? I get it for like one split second, so it doesn't really bother me, but I wonder. That, what is that? Am I just getting spooked out? 
Okay, I gotta defend a little bit better, man. Holy god. Uh, Dimeridium Bomb would be good here, wouldn't it? Dimeridium Bomb. Dimeridium Bomb. Of course, that also means I can't cast Quen. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's working though, because this lady is still turning into, like, split copies and stuff. Yeah, we gotta get her in the Irritant to make it... to make her corporeal. But I can never get her in the circle! I wonder if there's an upgrade for Irritant where we can make it Damn bigger? Gosh. Come in here, my friend. Oh, please. No, that was a fake one. Oh. No, my tiny owl's still here. I thought it was gone for a second. Yes! Oh, thank you. A night wraith. That's what it was. Eid Bird's farewell note. I've not left. Not a blooming thing. All I can do now is pass on my family's tale of horror and woe, then pass on myself, soon as I've written it all up in this letter. Seems a faded dream now, but there was a time when we were happy. My beautiful wife, Ornesta, and myself. We were married in high style, with a fitting feast. Then a year later, our dear Midburga was born. Full praise of Ween's beauty, said she were the spitting image of her mom. Ornesta would get all cross when they talked like that, but I paid it no heed at the time. Soon enough, our family grew. First, Matilda, then Ethel came into the world, both fair as angels, but Ornesta, well, I'll never forget the eve she sat there, combing her long chestnut hair, while the girls cried and cried. I said to her, Love, I reckon the lasses are hungry. That's when she lashed out at me for the first time. Said they had no right to be hungry, they'd stolen her beauty and her youth. That should be more than enough to feed on. I should have known it then. I should have guessed madness had burrowed into my love's head, and every compliment paid to her lasses beauty made it burrow ever deeper. Year by year, the young uns grew taller and more lovely, but time's not so kind to the old, and Ornesta weren't spared its cruelty, which took her skin spring and the sheen of youth. One night, I was awoken by a startling moon, which lit all the world in an eerie glow. I looked around the hut and saw it was empty. I ran out the door and followed a set of bare footprints, leading to the cemetery by the chapel. Seeing that, my heart jumped up into my throat. I found them. All three, lying around the fountain. Were I not been their father, I'd never have recognized them. Deep gashes mutilated their fair faces. Strips of skin and hunks of flesh were strewn all about. As I stood beholding this butchery, I had the feeling someone was watching me. And I weren't mistaken. Ornesta stood there on a stool by a lone tree. She had a rope draped around her neck like some demonic necklace. They took it from me. All of it. All I had. All I cherished she said. Then she jumped. She's dead. My Ornesta, my three daughters, dead as well. I'll soon join them. I've taken all I have and gave it to the gods. Perhaps they'll forgive me and my beloved Ornesta. Hmm. So I guess the lady that we just fought, the cursed mother, is Ornesta. And that's the alderman? Hmm. That's gotta be some form of PTSD, right? No, not PTSD, the other one. Postpartum? Because she had three children, and normally I feel like a mother wouldn't be jealous of their kid. But maybe because of stresses and all that. The fact that she killed herself after killing her three daughters kind of makes me think that she probably did regret what she did. 
Like maybe after she killed them, she came to her senses and realized that what she had done was completely unforgivable. Well, may this old chapel be sealed forever and unvisited then. Nobody even noticed that there was a random skeleton lying in the fountain here. So really, nobody's been here in a very, very long time. And the priest? I lit your torch, but I can't bring you back to life. Okay, we had a mini little quest here. Stemming from a question mark, that's pretty cool. And the rune right is right here. So let's go visit them. Oh. Upper mill. Slow now, whoa. The local community held a raising bee to construct the new brick upper mill to replace the old wooden lower mill. Once finished, however, they decided closing a fully functional mill just because there is a newer one would be a sinful waste, thus both mills remain in operation. Oh. Is this lower mill maybe? Or maybe this one? Well, it's always good to not waste, so that's good. Stranger. Greetings. Might you be interested in a moment's chat? Oh, you're not the rune ride. You're somebody else. You're a long way from Ophir. A long way and with dangers fraught. But in our homeland, they say, in risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience, though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore, virgin lands discover, new knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new, to stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. You are from Ophir? I don't know where that is. Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have. For of my home I could speak until your ears withered and your legs failed you. What here they call Ophir, in truth, is many diverse polities and peoples. A land it is of vast steppes, mountains forbidding, lakes clear as crystal, and wild lands untouched. A land of fallen empires, kingdoms at their peak, and tribes that know no monarchs, yet remember in myth a time when the world was young. You call any of these lands home? Yes, a town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy, of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But about these last you should, my friend, interrogate, for one among them is he, a rune right. I'll make it a point to talk to him. That's who I was planning on talking to. Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Let's go. Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares. Their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor. So race we must. We're getting to that point again where every other person we talk to gives us a new quest. This is awesome. <laughs> Hey, I would oh. see you at full speed. We're just Let's racing go. against a random merchant now. Ha! Little does this foreigner know, though. I'm basically the champion of horse racing across all of the entire world here. Ah! Whoa! What the hell? Be swift. 
I would see you at full speed. Whoa, that was basically cheating. What the heck was that? Oh, there's so many monster nests here. Take your mount to her limits. We should go clean them up later on. Open the guy. Serpent eyes, silver sword. Yeah, you're fast, dude, but I don't think you're faster than me. As long as my stamina keeps up. Which I'm actually getting a little close to running out of. Oh, come on, we'll be fine. Right? Oh god, no. No! No! Oh, that was close. A fiery mares may be swift as the wind. Not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. A contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Thanks. Like your new gear, roach? Ha! <laughs> Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time when love brought together the skies and the steppe. And from their union was born the first mare. Weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them. Her milk fed them. Strong they grew. And she let them saddle her. Warriors they became and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. Thank you. I feel like I don't know too much about this Ophiri culture, but they seem very in tune with nature. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. It's never-ending creation, huh? I just wanted to check out the new stuff that we just got. Cavalry saddle? No. Ophiri stock saddle, better than the one I have right now. Awesome. And now I can sell the old one back to you. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. <laughs> what did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? How far away is Ophir? I don't remember hearing about this town at all, so I don't really have any clue. Hey, what the heck is this? New moon armor, new moon boots? When did we get that? I don't even know. They seem like they come in a set though. Should I try wearing it or something? Uh, you're not a blacksmith, so maybe I'll just sell you some crappy stuff. Yeah, maybe not the best stuff. You have Gwen cards! Francesca Findebear! Eridan! Eridan. Canonically, it's like people are making cards of Eridan. Oh, this is the same as the one we have right now, so we don't have to care too much about it. Ophiri Decorated Saber. Oh, this looks pretty cool. Ophiri Tunic. Oh. That's worse than what I have right now, unfortunately. Oh. Thank you. Our craftsman's goods. You see worth in them? Quite a bit, I'd say. Ah, these are nothing compared to what I could offer had I not lost my prize diagrams. How'd you lose them? To thieves. In our travels, I and my companions surprised attacked by local ruffians were. The diagrams, their loss. I bemoan not so much as I do one of my comrades. Killed in the violence. Would you like some help getting the diagrams back? See if I can't find your diagrams. Recover them for you. These instructions, when followed, produce items worthy of a king. Tell me where you were attacked, remember? A crossroads, not far. Forgive me. For this area, I know poorly. The detailed directions I cannot provide. North of the spot stood a residence uh, near ruin. Should be able to find it. 
Okay, I'll get it for you. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. Is that like an Ophiri thing? Yeah, from Ophir's distant shores. Just looking at these goods here, these aren't really things that we're familiar with in Novigrad and Velen, huh? Those shields and... Oh, can I just... Thank you. You're too kind. <laughs> and these carpets and sabers. We've never even seen a saber before, have we? Hmm. And uh, one very interesting thing. This one person here had two different quests. That's not something we commonly see, is it? Now the rune right. Hello? Sorry for stealing your books. Greetings. Greetings, and praise the world in its never-ending creation. Don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, world doesn't deserve much praise. <sighs> Nordlings. <laughs> Disagreeable always. Faces crinkled, soured, ready to quibble to death even a simple greeting. Aha! <laughs> but my tongue now has soured, while you for trade have come. Sadly, I can forge for you nothing. My belongings, tools inclusive, all lost. Wow, you guys have really bad luck, huh? Your friend outside was attacked and you lost all your stuff? You're a craftsman, or a mage. Your tongue has no word to fit my trade. A scholar and artisan I am. Part craftsman, part mage. Gematria, runecraft? Familiar to you are these words? No. Runecraft seems pretty self-explanatory, though. True, though my craft further ventures. Runes and glyphs I first make then arrange into powerful magic words. Great practical applications has my art. For rune stones properly forged in a sword set so as to form a magic word, the blade more power grant than rune stones set haphazardly. Such words too can of glyphs be made and set in armor. Who? Oh. Listen, folks sometimes hire me to solve their problems, even retrieved a missing item or two in my time. For me, this you cannot do. I sailed upon a great ship. It sank and my instruments took to the sea's dark depths. That's okay. Buying replacements not an option? Of my own design they were, specially forged. A fortune it cost to make them. And all the coin that with me I had brought lies now in the murky abyss with my instruments. Oh, that's okay. I'm really good at looking through smugglers' caches. I can help you. Seems your skills could be useful to me. Given that, I'd be happy to help you out. What do you say I get you the coin you need? Could pay what? me back in runes and glyphs. Is it certain your offer? A great sum I require. Tools of great expense I need to make even the simplest glyph. I make no mention of the more advanced or master crafted. Rest easy. Got a feeling this will be a good investment. No, Geralt! We'll just go fish the tools up! We're not paying any money! 5,000 crowns? Are you kidding me? <gasps> Can't help but wonder what brings you to our lands. A simple thing. For knowledge, a thirst. All he could, my mentor had taught me. The tongues of our lands I'd learned, of all our plants and animals I know the names. Risk that long a journey to learn new words? A life of plenty I would have lived at home, for the beauty and import of my art are respected. But such a life would be unfulfilled. Great and diverse is the world, for a pace continues its creation. A riddle it is, which through symbols speaks. The world's tongue to learn, I wish. The signs by which it speaks to discover. Their syntax to master. 
through this to learn the principles of creation. Hmm, well you sound like a lifelong learner. Good for you. The way you talk about your art sound more like a man of faith than scholarship. Faith and scholarship for you lie in conflict. Yet in my land, holy men are scholars. Wisdom, their source of esteem. The Afiri believe in any gods? From region to region, this varies. Raised I was to believe in one god, the world. <laughs> Symbols are God's speech. To study his words is to draw nearer to him. Symbols, meaning runes and glyphs. Mere signs are these. An attempt by men imperfect to describe the world. Yet a magic to them there is. And from God, all magic issues. When runes I create, when into words I arrange them, this is prayer. And when into swords I enchant them, that is my benediction. I guess that is something interesting to wonder about. When we use runes and glyphs, we just kind of stick them on our sword and armor and it's like, hey, it works. But why does it work? How does it work? Sounds like those are things that this guy would be interested in finding out. Got some coin on me. This enough? Uh, start it is. Oh my god. Costly craft. Yet the costs do not end with coin. Need I shall also a jade stone of size substantial. Hmm. See what I can do. Jade stone? Okay. Quality has its price. Man, we gave you 5,000 crowns and that wasn't enough? Can we just go find your tools in the ocean? I'm pretty sure I can find it for you, if you let me know. Oh, now we got a new icon on the map here. Oh. Pickaxe. Enchanting. Quality has its price. Oh, it's right here. Okay. This guy kind of talks like Yoda. I didn't notice the merchant guy doing the same thing, so it might just be a him thing, not an Ophiri thing. We're finding a pickaxe to mine some jade stones. Apparently, likely to find some small jade deposits northeast of Novigrad. Ought to try my luck there. Okay. We're no longer Geralt, the monster slayer. We're Geralt, the miner. That's okay, that's okay. I, I can have many faces. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry for coming into your home so early in the morning. I'll be leaving now, thank you. <laughs> Small little village here. Two Ophiri people have decided to settle for the time being. But judging by their little wagon and, and little tent here, seems like they're ready to get on the move already at any time. So the Jade Stones, there's three possible locations, or do I have to go to all three? I don't know yet. If we look in the journal here... Oh, that's a treasure hunt. Yeah, the guy's diagrams. Okay. We're level 34. There's 32, 32, 33. The greenhouse one. The main quest is also 32. Without a trace, talk to the herbalist. Which one is this one again? This is... This is a contract that we got from the notice board. The levels are all pretty similar. Which one's the closest one to us? Hmm... From Ophir's distant shores, maybe? Well, I'm looking at this now. Maybe it's better for us to just go for the jade right away. Since we're already doing that. Okay. Well... Oh, yeah, earlier we ran into some monster nests before we do that. Let's go do that first, and then we'll get to like a fast travel marker or something. There's one question mark in the middle. But I'm guessing it's probably another monster nest. There's so many. 
Miller's Lake. Can you see the monsters already? Uh, I can't. But they've got to be around here since we know there's a nest here. Here we are. Everybody's favorite. Woo! Abandoned site. Whirl, Geralt. Oh, look, that one has like a little mask. God! I have no idea what that achievement's for, but okay. <laughs> oh! Ooh! Ow! God, these neckers will never not be annoying. There's a nest. Neckers surface here, dig their way out. Hmm? Is the nest related to the abandoned site? Or is that something else entirely? I wonder. It doesn't seem like there's anything here. It just says abandoned site? Or- Oh! Maybe what we have to do is get the other nest, and this entire area is one abandoned site? Maybe that's it. Oh, we leveled up! They're level 35. But from now on, every time we level up, it's not really that meaningful anymore because we have more points than slots. So unless if I want to do a complete overhaul of my build, then all the points that I'm accumulating right now aren't really going to get used at all. Damn it. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I'll do Tawny Owl anyway, even though it's during the daytime. Thank you. Whoa, I'm doing so little damage on it. What the heck? Oh, we're okay now, but earlier, we were doing so little. No? We never get red mutagens. It's always the green and the blue. Necker's surface here. Dig their way Gosh. Out. Yeah. Are we cool? Yeah. It was three question marks here, but it was actually one interconnected thing. Which is kind of cool. Oh my god, mister! What do you want? You gotta treat your horse a little bit nicer, don't you think? But hey, cool. People are back already. I'll call my mum! <laughs> do you think I'm a pedophile or something? Sorry! Prince Proximo picked a pack of pickle pippets. <laughs> she sounds so upset. Okay. Rose on a red field. Ah, this is the one where the lady from the mansion was telling me that I should investigate the murder of some fist tech dealer? Mmm, that's kind of along the way too. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just go here. My mum says I'll turn into a strigger if I don't eat my dinner. Yeah, because we got a lot of new question marks around here now, so it makes sense for us to not travel fast travel as much and just walk around here. It is pretty nice anyway. It's not really like Velen where it's only swamps and more swamps. Ooh! Very 
very nice. It's like a vacation spot here. This question mark is near a house. Guarded treasure. Guarded by boars? Ooh! Boars are new? Oh, and they seem deadly and scary. Let's get them one at a time. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen that. Wild boars. I think we probably have to wait until it charges us. That's the strategy to go about these guys. Whew. Oh. Well, at least these guys were much better than the spiders. Ugh. Boar pelt. Mm hmm. Let me meditate really. Oh. Another one? Yup. Ow. Damn. I was gonna meditate, but we should probably deal with this guy first, cause otherwise, they're all gonna respawn or something. There we go. The treasure... <laughs> this is kinda funny, cause the boars were guarding a house? A human house? Why? <laughs> List with a noble seal. To Camel, son of Kosa. This letter's your last warning. When I made you a hunter, I didn't have in mind for you to spend all your time hunting wenches. <laughs> We've got boars breeding like rabbits, deer devouring our saplings, and wolves strolling calmly right outside the walls of our estate. Get to work, lad, or your career will end quicker than it started. Thaddeus Garen. Garen! Garen Estate! Wait, I was under the impression that the Garen people were all gone. So this might be... Maybe it was written a long time ago. Because officially, right now, the big Garen Estate mansion is occupied by the Wild Ones, right? Yeah. Okay. We don't necessarily have to exhaust all the question marks in one go, so I'll go here. I'm not gonna go around to these ones, and um, I'll go from here to here. How about that? We'll go for this one. Is that one a side quest? Yes, it is. That's the one where Geralt was super hesitant, and he didn't want to um, agree to kill somebody. Because technically, we're supposed to kill monsters, not people. Not that that's really stopped us from killing people anyway, but eh. We'll just have to see. Oh no! Roach is inside the... You can't get out! Come out here, buddy! Here we go. Don't stare at the wall. You're basically the fastest horse in all of Velen and Novigrad and Skellige. Come on, let's get a move on. No, I don't like this area. This is where we saw those spiders. There might be more, even without there being a monster nest. And I don't like the thought of that. <laughs> no. No thank you. Neckers. Whatever. Scram. Olivard clearing. 37? We can probably do this. Hmm, Thunderbolt? Woo! We'll be fine. Yeah, it's only one guy here. We'll be fine. We just have to be a little bit careful about the dodging and all. Mm hmm. Oh, 
Damn, you're ugly. <laughs> Did that really do anything? I got no clue. Ooh. Look at that beautiful sunset in the background. Ooh. No, nope, that was the wrong kind of Quen. We're doing okay, but this guy's dying really slowly. Is our sword just not too good or... I'm not sure what the problem is. Okay, we gotta be really careful here. Don't make careless mistakes. God! Not good. Whoa, that's really not good. Oh, you got lucky there. Oh, maybe I need more elemental oil? Probably. Is there anything else I can do? Bombs wise? Maybe. Dragon's Dream? Give that a try. Ow! Whoa! My god! I gotta lead you back here so I can use the Dragon's Dream. I know you're waiting for me, but you gotta come over here. Critical damage one. Did that work? Very minorly. He's only at half health right now. Did I challenge this a little bit too early? It's only two levels apart. I'm 35 right now. Oh. Weird. Just to make sure. I am using the right sword, right? Yeah? Mastercrafted woven sword? Okay. I guess it's just taking a while because it has a lot of HP. Come on, buddy. No more hiding. Maybe the Arch Griffin decoction here would make things a little bit faster, huh? The Griffin. No, Arch Griffin. <laughs> the text is kind of small. Ooh! Uh. Be careful, be careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going a little bit faster. A teeny little bit. Oh god! Oh! Soon! Soon! Oh, don't die now! Freaking finally! My god, why did that take so much effort? Igor the Sage's Journal Notebook documenting research undertaken for the dissertation on the workings and construction of golems. Oh, <laughs> I can see where this is going. Based on the work of Master Alzer, written by Igor the Sade, a student at the Banard Academy, only a portion of the notes have survived. Day 134. I came across the remains of a destroyed golem in the swamps outside Vizima. Words cannot describe the rage that overcame me. 
The brickmakers, who keep a settlement nearby, told me this act of vandalism was perpetrated by some white-haired witcher. <gasps> I had heard the members of that guild were vile whoresons, but to stoop to that... Uh-oh. Day 163. The idea struck me that I might find something of use in the Oxenford Academy archive. I managed, with great difficulty, to cross a Pontar, but once in Oxenford, I met with an unpleasant surprise. The Academy has been closed. Luckily, I was able to gain entry thanks to the help of a professor, acquaintance of mine. Thank you, Slavoj. I thus was able to dig out a few dust-covered beauties and... Eureka! Near the village of Hedel, there is a tower which purportedly once served as a workshop to none other than Master Alzer himself. Hmm. If I remember right, Alzer was a really famous mage who is the creator of Alzer's Thunder, a complicated and really powerful spell that I think it was brought up once or twice in The Witcher 2, but also in the books. Triss cast the spell to save Yennefer before, and that was a pretty big moment for her. So yeah, I think this guy is a pretty famous and important mage. Day 164. I made it to the tower. It's inhabited. A rather eccentric gentleman has made it a roost for his flock of harpies. I saw him feed their chicks pork. Inconceivable. But let's return to our core concern. The tower, which this loon has turned into a harpy nest, truly might have been once Alzer's workshop. That means this might be the very place where he conducted his research into golems. Is that related to the harpy guy from The Witcher 2? <laughs> Day 165. It's here, standing motionless in a stone circle. The local peasants think it's merely a strangely formed boulder. But then again, how could such bumpkins ever guess they pass a masterpiece of magic construction on the way to feed their chickens? I've already fastened the lightning conductor. It's a shame there are no druids nearby. If I hadn't slept through my course on meteorological magic, I'd summon a storm myself. But as it is, I can but wait patiently or otherwise. Day 171. Been sitting on these cold stones waiting for a change in the weather so long my bowels have almost frozen. It's only been a week. But it's finally here! I must stop writing now, for drops are falling on my notebook and smearing my notes. The first rumblings of thunder sound in the distance. I cannot contain my excitement. Soon, the golem shall live again and kill you. Oh my god. For the amount of education these guys get, they gotta be a little bit smarter about their own safety. <laughs> and how fitting. There's a storm right now too. 